Let's see, so I don't use IMDB TV. I wanna click on that and let's select uninstall. Click on okay. That's now uninstalled. Um, I don't really use Silk because I like to use Downloader. Let's click on that and select uninstall. Click on OK. That's now uninstalling. Now, one of the biggest issues with these Amazon devices is not only do they come bundled with so much bloatware, just so many of these applications that take up valuable space on your device, they even keep adding updates to these applications, which again just takes up so much space on your device. Well, in this video today, let me show you a very easy method on how you can remove all of these updates on these applications on your device and then completely block them so Amazon can't send any more updates to your device. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, Let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to follow this process, just open up Downloader on your device, make a connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, or you can use the short code 53402. Once you get to my site, Head over to the hamburger menu, which is the one with the three lines. Click on that, click on tutorials, and the latest tutorial in the list will be how to remove Amazon bloatware and to block these updates. Now from this, we just need to download two files. Let's scroll down. Here's some step-by-step uh, -step instructions. And underneath all of that, we should have two files. We have my TDUK Fire OS update blocker. Now I've tested this on the 4K Fire Stick, on the 4K Fire Stick Max, on the second generation Fire TV Cube, and even the Fire Stick Lite. So really, as long as your Amazon device runs Fire OS 6 or higher, you can definitely use this toolbox to block all system updates. And here we have my file manager of choice, which is Mi Explorer, and this is the latest version as of December 2021. So if you do have an older version, I would advise installing this later version on top of it. So all you need to do is just click on the first link. We can now scroll down and click on the green download button. Let's click on that first and click on install. Once you've done that, press the back button and also get the latest version of Mi Explore. Install both those on your device and let's now press the home key. Now before we start, we can see on my device, I currently have 1.15 gigs of free space and that's on my 4K Fire Stick Max. Let's press the home key and let's now open up Mi Explorer. Now Mi Explorer is a great application and it's definitely one of my preferred file managers of choice. Works great on the Fire Stick and even your Android TV devices. Now what we want to do here is use remote control, go over to the left and where it says app, uh, keep scrolling down. Here we are, let's click on that. This basically shows you all of your installed applications, whether you installed them from the official Amazon App Store or you sideloaded them, any application on your device is now presented here. Now what the application allows you to do is, for example, you can copy these applications and this really is a great way if you need to back up an application, maybe you sideloaded something in the past and you've now deleted the installation file and you want to create a copy of this application, maybe for another device, you can very easily copy the app by pressing and holding the select button, going to the top, selecting this icon here, which is copy, and you can now paste this into another folder, like maybe your downloader folder, and then pull it from there. In this example, we're interested in uninstalling updates. Now, the key thing to understand is because these are system files, system applications, we can't completely uninstall them, but we can remove all of the updates that they received. And Amazon definitely do like to update these applications. Like we noticed recently with the update to the IMDB TV app, they really do add a lot, lots of updates to these applications, even if you're not using them. And of course, these updates do take up valuable space. In this example, I'm gonna uh, press and hold the select button on this. That's now selected. I'm now gonna press the context key, which is one with the three lines. 
let's now click on uninstall and what this is basically saying is any updates to this application we want to remove it from our device so let's click on ok that's now been removed similarly i don't use silk so i'm going to press and hold the select button press the context key again and select uninstall that's also removed so that's two applications now to speed things up a bit i'm going to do multiple applications at the same time so i'm not interested in the screensaver because i'm using my own aerial view screensaver so i'm going to press and hold the select on this that's now selected and on the top left we can see it says one which shows you that one application is selected let's go down the fire tv player is used for prime video i'm not really using that so i'm going to press select on that once we can see now it says two on the top left which means two applications are now selected let's keep going down i don't use amazon music i'm going to click on that that's three i don't use prime video that's four i'm not using amazon kids that's five i'm not using amazon shopping that's six uh, keep going down i don't use amazon news that's seven and let's just do one more of course guys this is just in my demonstration depending on what applications you're using or not using you can decide to uninstall those updates or not and the last one i'm going to do is just alexa shopping so click on that so eight applications in total let's now press that context key let's go down and click on uninstall okay so do you want to uninstall the updates to alexa shopping click on okay that's done uh, for the news click on OK again you can see guys the process is very very easy to do uh, the shopping uh, kids yep I'm not using that application and if any of you guys are still here with me then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment hashtag space then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. I mean, ideally, Amazon should say, hey guys, here's some updates. Which of these new applications that we want you to try out do you want to install? But the way they do it is they just push all of these things onto your device, whether you want to use them or not. Let's click on OK on that as well. I'm not using Prime Music. Click on OK. I think there's two more is that one yep the screensaver that says uninstall now complete now to actually confirm that have we actually got that space bag let's now press the home key let's now check for free space and you remember that we previously had 1.15 uh, gig let's go to settings go to my fire tv go to about and look at that guys we've now gone from 1.15 to 1.55 and this is really something that you can do regularly on your device just to make sure that any updates to applications that you're not using you can quickly remove them but the key thing you have to understand is that amazon will constantly try to push these updates to your device so how can we do that well this is where the td uk update blocker comes into play and the great thing about this application is not only is it very very easy to use it does not stop any updates to any application on your device so if you were to download any application from the amazon app store you can still receive updates to that the only thing this blocks is these system updates which are the ones that normally push out these updates to these applications let's now open that up now the very first time you open this up uh, when i click on connect you'll see this prompt so you want to click on always allow and click on ok now it may kick you out just as you've seen there so all you need to do is just go back into that again and what you're looking for now is when you click on connect where it says connected that's what you want to see and once you see that this means this has now made a connection to the settings and we can now unblock or block those updates now we can see because i'm doing this on my amazon 4k fire stick max which runs fire os 7 we can see that has detected that all i need to do now is click on block and just like that we see success at the bottom which means those background processes which are designed for those system updates have now been disabled so i can now press the home key go over to settings go to my fire tv 
go to about and where it says check for updates. If I now click on check for updates, we now get an update error guys. So what that means is Amazon now cannot push any of those updates to our device. Those updates to those applications have now been blocked. And only when I choose to, I can then once again use the update blocker to then unblock those updates. So at the end of the day, if you're happy with your device, if you may be only using third party applications or certain applications, why should Amazon be allowed to make changes to your device, to your home screen or, or push updates to applications that you're never going to use? Well, with this method I've shown you in this video today, you once again will have complete control of your device. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. I'm really trying my best to get this new channel to 10,000 subscribers. If you guys can help out, do share this video in your social networks and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.